Yeah. Move stop location is 47. This allows you to click on a cross and move it to a new location. So if you know the bus actually stops one block down, you can click and drag and move it there. And it will also ask you when you move it, are you sure you want to? And it gives you the name, the new stop name. And you could say yes to that. Now, did anyone move their stop outside of their existing boundary? No? Yes? OK. Let's try that then. Let's move a stop outside of its boundary and watch what happens. The boundary goes with it, right? When you move a stop outside of the existing boundary, it adds a little section to cover that area. So basically, when are we going to use this? Like Often. These will be used when the stop that you have and the boundary that you have aren't accurate or realistic. You know, I find a lot of after we um, import our students, and there's other student if the boundary wasn't made big enough, and there's another student like right on the edge of it, you have to go in there and you add region to the boundary, and it puts that student inside that boundary. Yeah, so take a look up on my screen. That's, that's a good example. So I'm going to say I want to add a region. The reason being is because this student over here is new this year. They weren't around in this neighborhood last year. So I want to add a region to include them so they get on stop 11. So I chose add region. I click inside the boundary for stop 11. And then I draw a shape around the area I now want to include. So now that student can use that. Or the other option, this student, we're actually going to have a new stop for. So we want to get rid of this. Now we can go to remove region, click inside, and cut out this little section. So the boundary is not what you want it to be. There's too much. There's not enough. It's time to unleash the power of Route Finder Pro. Empower yourself and your team. Click below and find out when TransFinder University will be at a city near you.